everybody, welcome back to another Amiibo episode, even though these don't happen too often lately. Um, I think it's been quite a few months since the Min Min Amiibo came out, but today we got the uh, Steve and Alex Amiibo. Um, it's an okay Amiibo, I mean, I, there's not a lot I can say about this one, it's Minecraft characters, so they're extremely simple, obviously they captured their likeness well for you know, an Amiibo, but they, they are just a pretty simple looking Amiibo. Um, it is a $30 Amiibo, at least in the US. Uh, so I was hoping it would be like 15 like the rest of them, and they just gave us two characters because the character is pretty plain. Like if they just gave us Steve and charges $15 for it, it'd be a little, uh, a little cheap, but um, no, it's a $30 Amiibo, so you are buying two Amiibos, but at least it's nice they made both Steve and Alex. They haven't done the alt costumes for any Amiibos since I think like Cloud, Corrin, and Bayonetta at the end of Smash 4 had alt costumes, so this is pretty cool to get, um, I guess in that sense. So like I said, pretty simple Amiibo, so probably not my favorite sculpt, but it's cool you get two characters at least. It's neat that they're doing something different like that. Like with Game & Watch, Game & Watch was very simple, but they gave you different um, versions of him to change on the little Amiibo platform. This one, we're doing Steve and Alex, even though um, it does cost a little bit more to have two Amiibo, I guess. So, hey, whatever, it's still pretty cool. I got the two-pack, you can get them separately, um, though when I went to my Target, they only had the two-pack, so I don't know if the separate characters will be more difficult to get or what, but all they had where I went to buy them was the two-pack. Um, it's a little large for an Amiibo, but not too large, so I used one of my longer Amiibo storage boxes to put them up on my shelf. I always get two of every Amiibo. That's um, two Amiibo thick, so if you can see I have a Steven Alex Amiibo already in the box there. I'll box up this one and put it in front of this one, uh, but I had to use my, lo my longer boxes uh, to box it. So. Uh, another Amiibo box does fit in the long box with them, despite them not fit fitting in the normal sized Amiibo boxes. So I'm probably going to put, once Sephiroth comes out, him in the normal box and then into the the longer box. So it should look normal on the shelf, but um, it'll be like double boxed. Like Sephiroth will be double boxed. So yeah, I had to do that with these ones. But um, once I'm done filming this, I'll put this in a box and add it to the wall. And we're getting closer and closer to getting a complete Amiibo collection. So we still don't know when we'll get our next Amiibo Sephiroth or what that even looks like. They haven't shown them yet. And we're not sure if we're going to get Sora at all. They never announced if Sora was happening for sure or not. So we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed on that one. But on the note of the Amiibo, we do know we're getting Sephiroth, Pyra and Mithra, and Kazuya that was announced. We just haven't seen them yet. But uh, we'll probably get a September Direct. That's been a big rumor for a long time right now that I haven't talked about yet. So I guess I'll use this video to talk about it. All right, so there's a ton of rumors about a September Nintendo Direct probably happening. The thing is, we get a September Nintendo Direct basically every year. I think for the last, like, seven years, we've gotten one, so it just seems like a guaranteed thing. There's no reason to think we wouldn't get one. Earlier this week, we got that Pokemon trailer, and usually when we get Pokemon information, it happens a week before a Direct. If we're going to get a Direct, if there's also Pokemon information around that same time frame, the Pokemon information happens the week before. So probably a September Direct next week, the week of the 12th. And we also have Jeff Grubb saying we'll get a September Nintendo Direct and also saying it would probably be the week of the 12th. So he's been saying that for a while now. He's been saying some other predictions I'll talk a bit more about in a bit here. Stuff like Breath of the Wild 2 being showcased there, probably getting a name for that. Um, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD getting ported to the Switch and Metroid Prime having like a remaster also on Switch. These have been rumors for a long time, but he is saying they're going to happen in this September Direct that'll probably happen next week. And there have been other people who sometimes have inside information who have been saying things suggesting there'd probably be a September Nintendo Direct. Again, we've gotten one like the past seven years in a row, so it's not that crazy of a prediction to think we'd get a September Nintendo Direct again this year, but a lot of people have been throwing their hat in the ring with what they think is going to be there. A lot of people who have some credibility behind them, so yeah, we'll probably get one and it's probably going to be next week. But we still have no official announcement of that. It's still just a rumor as of right now. And really strange, but I'll go over this, so yesterday the Queen of England died, I'm sure everybody heard about that, it's major, major news right now, and uh, Jeff Grubb came out and he was saying that, you know, there would be a September Nintendo Direct, and he then came out yesterday and said that it might get delayed because of the Queen passing away. So this was a hypothetical Nintendo Direct, or a rumored Nintendo Direct, with a hypothetical delay behind the scenes, things got a little strange. If the Nintendo Direct had gotten delayed because of the Queen passing away, this wouldn't be the first time a tragedy has caused a Nintendo Direct delay. There was that earthquake, uh, I think a couple years back, where Nintendo delayed a Nintendo Direct. That one was a little closer to the Direct itself. I think the Direct was already announced, and then the earthquake happened, and they delayed it. 
Obviously, the queen passing away isn't exactly a horrific tragedy the way that an earthquake was. This is someone who lived a full life, was very old, but they're still a prominent figure and they passed away and it's going to be big news. If this rumored Nintendo Direct is really next week, then obviously the queen passed away yesterday. That would be like at least five days or so difference before that direct so i don't really see a reason they delay it i suppose uk news and television would be absolutely saturated with things about the queen passing away stuff about the funeral and the next coronation and everything like that so i could see nintendo maybe holding off to just kind of avoid getting lost in all that so that you know their announcement would be heard by people in the uk is obviously that's a big market for them but considering it would be next week at the earliest for the nintendo direct and the queen passed away yesterday we'll have the whole weekend for a lot of stuff like like that. I think into next week, obviously, there will still be a lot of talk about this. It'll be the big news. But if Nintendo even pushed it back a week later, I don't think it would make too much of a difference. I think the Queen will be just as talked about the following week as she will be next week. I suppose there's the slim possibility that something in the Nintendo Direct would seem in bad taste, such as if the title for Breath of the Wild was something like the death of a queen or something like that and it's about Zelda's mom she plays a huge part in the story or something obviously that would be horrible timing for Nintendo to and finally announce the Breath of the Wild 2 sequel name if it involves something like that if there's a new Fire Emblem game being announced that heavily uh, has something to do with like regicide in it maybe they'd want to hold off on that if there's Pikmin 4 coming out but the last boss is a queen grub dog and I don't know showing off the game shows attacking the queen grub dog or something I could see something like that maybe making it Nintendo hold back, but barring any unbelievable coincidence like that, I think it's probably safe for Nintendo to just go ahead and do the Nintendo Direct next week, whatever they had planned, um, despite the fact that the Queen has passed away, and that's pretty big news right now. Luckily, after Jeff Grubb had come out and said that the Direct might be delayed behind the scenes, he then tweeted this out. It says, okay, it does sound like the Direct is still on. If it gets moved around, it will probably be a very minor adjustment. Expect it early next week. And that's in line with Nate the Hate saying the announcement would be Monday. So we'll probably get it announced on Monday and then happen probably either Tuesday or Wednesday next week. So the 12th or the 13th, most likely. All right, so there you go. We had a hypothetical rumored Nintendo Direct have a hypothetical delay, and then that hypothetical delay was hypothetically not delayed. It's so like a canceled delay on a hypothetical room. It's just, it's kind of crazy. But most likely next week, we'll still get our Nintendo Direct as the rumor originally was. Okay, so let's talk about what we could see in that Nintendo Direct. Well, the Steve and Alex Amiibos are out now, so it would be really nice to get a look at our next Amiibo. Either see the Sephiroth Amiibo, the Pyra and Mithra Amiibo, or the Kazuya Amiibo. Or all three, or potentially four, mattering how they do Pyra and Mithra, Amiibos could be shown off to us. Maybe Sakurai will even be in the Direct showing those off. Again, still no idea if Sora is going to get an Amiibo or not. If he does, I feel like they would maybe even wait longer to actually announce that, because the whole reason to not announce it earlier probably would have been to have it be a bit more of a hype announcement closer to when it actually releases. And considering how long it took between Min Min and Steve and Alex to come out, I'm guessing it's going to be a while before Sephiroth comes out and then a while before Pyra and Mithra. Uh, the, if there is a Sora Amiibo, it might not even happen next year. It could be 2024 before we get it. So I think they would hold off announcing that one. But I do suspect we'll probably see at least the Sephiroth Amiibo if we get a Nintendo Direct. We also, of course, just got Splatoon 3 released. So the other games we know about this year will probably get a bit of a showcase in this Direct. The Mario and Rabbids game will probably get shown off. Bayonetta 3 will probably get shown off. And maybe we'll get an actual release date for the uh, Switch version of Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. So Jeff Grubb, again, was the one where really these rumors were coming from. I mean, a lot of people were just assuming we'd get a Nintendo Direct in September, because we always do. But Jeff Grubb had some specific things he said were going to be there. He said Breath of the Wild 2 would probably be there and would get its name announced. So we'll probably get Breath of the Wild 2 information. This is honestly the longest time um, between... 3D Zelda games being made, Breath of the Wild to Breath of the Wild 2, which is crazy to think about. This is the longest time in between any 3D Zelda to another 3D Zelda, especially when we originally thought Breath of the Wild 2 was going to be like a quick turnover, um, you know, asset flip type game, like use the same assets from Breath of the Wild to make a quick game with some quality of life improvements. But no, this has taken the longest development time. I don't know if like coronavirus and COVID and stuff uh, made that take longer and that's why but um, yeah there's there could be a pretty major game on our hands coming out here and Breath of the Wild 2 is supposedly coming out spring 2023 unless it gets you know delayed again and last time with Breath of the Wild we had an E3 when it was coming out in spring of the next year and that E3 showcased like a ton of the game there was actual gameplay and demos of like the Great Plateau
Plateau and stuff, and we still don't even have the title of Breath of the Wild 2, so I imagine this Direct should have a lot of Zelda stuff. And Jeff Grubb's saying the same thing. He was calling it a potential Zelda blowout. I also saw on Twitter, I don't know how true this was, but someone said that Anuma had a translation done, probably for this Direct, so I don't know how true that was, but if that is someone on the inside knowing that, then yeah, that really points to obviously Breath of the Wild 2 probably being in something this month. And we also had some Breath of the Wild 2 patent information show up. This actually happened a while back. We had some patent information for like gameplay stuff. Uh, it was several months ago that that happened. And now more recently, another patent for some gameplay from Breath of the Wild 2 has popped up. So probably that would mean that they're going to show off whatever this new mechanic is soon and they have a patent for it. Jeff Grubb was also saying Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD would get ported onto the Switch. Those are among some of the only Wii U games that are not ported to Switch, so that makes sense to me. We've also had a Switch Zelda title come out like every year, and now that Breath of the Wild 2 has been delayed, we don't have a Zelda title for this year, so porting those two to Switch would be great. I don't know if they'd be together in one game or if they'd be two separate games you have to buy again, but it would be cool to have, you know, a lot of the Zelda games available on the Switch like that, so porting those two over would be great. Jeff Grubb was also saying a Metroid Prime remaster was coming before the end of the year, so that's another like GameCube title getting ported up to Switch, and that could also be good news for potentially seeing something Metroid Prime 4, though I feel like that might be the big thing at like next year's E3, but getting the Metroid Prime remaster, which has been a rumor for a long time, out this year could make sense to drum up hype for Metroid Prime 4. Liam Roberts mentioned something about GameCube stuff being a big focus all of a sudden, which could make sense with what I just said. Maybe that's all he was talking about, the Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, and Metroid Prime being, like, showcased, because that's enough to be, like, that's a lot of, you know, GameCube stuff. Uh, Emily Rogers also said there'd be a big focus on, like, remasters, so I don't know if that is just talking about those three games that Jeff Grubb specifically named, or if that means something like a GameCube NSO happening or something like that, something more specifically GameCube and not just those three specific remasters. Uh, personally, I think if they're going to do another NSO thing, though, they'll probably do Game Boy to Game Boy Advance or something, if some Something NSO gets announced like a new console, but that's just a guess. Speaking of the NSO though, it would be really cool since we already have the N64 on the NSO if Super Smash Brothers 64 got announced for NSO and maybe it would have online capabilities to be able to play with your friends over the internet with it. I could see Sakurai actually showing up for a direct to announce something like that. That would be really cool to get. Zippo was talking about the new Super Mario Brothers series and potentially getting a new entry into that. The problem with the new Super Mario Brothers series that a lot of people had was that they were just flooding the market with it. It got really oversaturated. But but it's been a while since we've gotten one, so it could make sense to potentially have that be the next Mario game, another new Super Mario game, because it has actually been a while for once now. And there's possibilities of other things, of course, as well, something like a Donkey Kong game getting announced, a Star Fox game. I'd love to see Pikmin 4, maybe something Punch-Out, if my wildest dreams come true, we could actually get something Punch-Out. So I don't know exactly what's going to be in this Direct, but I do think there'll probably be a Direct next week, and it's pretty exciting because Nintendo always wows us with some stuff we can't guess at, and a lot of the stuff that we have talked about here in this video that are rumored, I'm pretty excited to see. Specifically Breath of the Wild 2, I'm dying to see more information on that game, so hopefully uh, Nintendo's ready to open the floodgates, show off that game, and get the hype train ready from now until the spring when it releases. All right, well, that's basically everything I wanted to talk about. Got the Steve and Alex Amiibos, so if you're looking for those, go out and grab them. I found mine at Target, but I assume they're probably going to be well-stocked everywhere. I've seen online a lot of people getting them, so I don't think you'll have any problems with that. And what do you guys think about the hypothetical rumored September Nintendo Direct? I think we probably will get one. We've gotten one, like I said, the last seven years in a row, so I think one will happen. But do you think you're going to get one next week? Do you think all these rumors are true or not? Let me know in the comments below what you think about all that. Remember to like the video. Leave a comment in the section below and subscribe to Papa Gino's a Twitter, a Patreon, a Discord, a Twitch.